Alright folks, this is uh, Jay at Cartel Reptiles one more time. Um, today, uh, it's been a while since I put up a video, so I'm going to go over um, my rack system, how I kind of organize it. Um, I, like I said, I haven't moved everything here yet, um, so excuse the fact that I only have one rack to really show you versus the three that I own. Um, they are 28 quart bins, Sterilite with a 4 inch flex spot on the back and a big apple um, thermostat. It's been working well for me, it's pretty accurate. Um, eventually I'll get rid of it and go herb stat like everybody else or Helix or whatever the case may be. So um, it's just one I have laying around and obviously my rack needs to be heated up. And excuse the bottom four. Um, I don't have all my snakes here, I still have to go grab the rest tomorrow from, uh, from a friend's house and I'm expecting two more in the morning, um, a male Enchi and a female pastel, a black pastel rather. Um, just going to kind of recap, today I actually went and got a Pac-Man frog, not quite sure why, cool looking thing, um, so yeah, I mean, he was like 16 bucks. There's actually a uh, cricket that's swimming upside down in this water like a moron. Um, anyways, like I said before, this is a, just a small rack. I had leftover melamine from before, so these are just my breeder mice um, for babies. It is four to one in these three. Um, the reason I went four to one versus three to one is the chances of all of those females not being pregnant at one time is so slim it's ridiculous. So on average it's usually um, two or three to one because when the females are pregnant I pull them out and they go over here. Excuse the lighting, um, it's night time so I don't really I don't really like turning on the lights and messing around with the, their genetic clocks all that kind of stuff. So um, rats are up top, those are also four to one. Um, and the quarantine tank is actually right behind me. It's 20 gallon long for now. Um, until I actually get my broken rack over here. It's like half assembled in the garage. So, I mean, pointless for me to show you that. But uh, this is how I organize mine. Everybody has their own system. Um, so, I mean, like I said, don't go off me. Everything that's on these cards is backed up via my computer. So, um, that's probably why these are blank like they're I don't have any records on them now because I just started them again um, when I was moving I all the other ones either got damaged lost or at some point I was just like whatever I'll just start it all over again so this is how I do mine all right so this is a basic postcard or whatever what do they call flash card um, the way that I set it up is I put what morph it is this one in this case is a bumblebee male um, weight every month I weigh them um, this is just the stock number that I use for when I do sell them or breeding stuff like that this is a bumble M as in male 2012 is when it was born A would be number one B two etc etc um, but I have the mother and the father on here exactly what they are the date exactly it was born and what type of rodent and the date that it eats um, behind these cards um, there's actually another card. It's almost identical, except it doesn't have as much depth into it. The reason that is, in case if they don't want to eat or a day that they shed, stuff like that, I'll write down the back of that card. Um, also, when I breed, I take this card. It follows them. Um, I'll just slide it in the other sheets. The black clips is what I usually put for shed. Um, it'll I'll kind of dangle a red tag or blue tag, whatever whatever the case may be. Um, I have my own color coding kind of thing. Everybody's different, like I said. So, in this case, this is a lesser female. This is in the top right corner. Um, mother and father were a lesser and a bumble. So, same thing. Um, as far as what I use for substrate, I like paper towel. It's not expensive. I pay like six or seven bucks for seven or eight rolls, whatever the hell it is and it lasts me quite a bit. The reason I like paper towels, I buy the white paper towel. Um, 
because I'll know if they pissed or pooped or whatever the case may be or if it needs to be changed. Um, this Bumble, he's actually chilling right there. Huh. Um, my rack has, like I said, flex lot in the back. You can't really see it, but um, it's worked well for me. But that's kind of how I do my stocking. Every, like I said, everybody's different. Nobody follows the same exact pattern, but there is, you know, uh, Jake Coloca uses his Viper system and BHB uses theirs, but uh, yeah, everybody's different. But the reptile room, like I said, it's not, it's, it's my spare bedroom that I don't use, hence the little box frame thing. Uh, those are just extras for rat maternities, and that's another one if I go pick up rats, or whatever the case may be, so they don't sit in that shitty ass box and get all dirty. Um, at least that way I can change the substrate. But all my materials, I mean, I always have moss on handy um, for the other reptiles, stuff like that. The tagu is in the other room, um, as well as fat tail and some leopard geckos. But um, I feed rats Cheerios and for like normal Missouri diet. The reason I do that, you gotta understand that your snakes are eating these mice and rats. Some people don't care, they don't whatever, it's, it's a rat, they're going to eat it. I like the fact that my rats and mice are healthy because I know if my snakes are eating a healthy product, it limits the chance of, you know, anything happening with them. Um, like I said, some people just don't even, they're like, nah, you're retarded. Um, it's just the mindset that I like to do. I don't like to eat shitty food because if I eat shitty food, I'm not going to be healthy. I mean, it's common sense, but... Um, like I said, this is my material corner until my other rat comes, then my rack is going to slide in there and I'll probably put this all in this closet right here, but um, pretty self-explanatory. I have a spare backup tank at all times, usually. God only knows what I see at expos or what, so it's filled with like hides and branches, fake vines and water dishes, stuff like that. So, just in case. Um, another thing that I use, I use this, a little fan. I keep it on low just to get the air circulation in here because I did tape up the swamp cooler. There are holes in it because the swamp cooler does provide uh, moisture, so I don't want it to get too dry in here. Um, right now it's only about 40% humidity, which is kind of low, so I gotta kind of fix that. But this is my, uh, my getaway of keeping this room exactly the way I want it. There's no reason for me to go get a big industrial heater when this room is probably 10 by 10 on a good day. Um, I don't even know the dimensions. I really, I'm not gonna sit here and measure it because it's retarded, but I keep it exactly 79 in here at all times. Um, that way there's airflow into the rack and I know the cool side temperature just about on point all the time. The hot side, I set the thermostat to uh, 94. The reason I do that is there is heat loss between the buckets. I mean, I'm figuring it's probably going to be about 89, 90 on that hot side. Um, and then when that thermostat hits its temperature, it'll turn off for about three or four degrees. So the hot side will fluctuate between, you know, the 85, 86 area to 90, 91, which is good. Um, and then they'll have their cold side, obviously, with, with all the stuff they're doing. but. Next week, or probably in a couple days when I get a few more of my snakes here, um, we'll probably go over breeding ideas for next year, um, what kind of things I want to produce, and probably um, a closer look at the snakes that I have. I only buy the absolute, like, prime of the litter, like, perfect snakes. To me, at least. Um, obviously, some people are probably like, yeah, it's mediocre or whatever, but to me, the colorations on them, the blushing, the head patterns, everything, like, I'll research it, and I'll, I'll get the absolute best snake I can get, or I won't buy it. I'll hold off. Um, but yeah, like I said, uh, probably next week, too, um, I'll show you guys the Tegu. I mean, it's just a normal Argentine black and white, and... Um, the fat tail and the leopards if I have time but uh again please like subscribe rate do all that kind of stuff um again this is Jay at Cartel Reptiles I hope all you guys that are in the middle of the hurricane are fine